Top 5 Best presents What People Don't Know About This Amazing Dog Breed Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button and subscribe to our channel for more real-life stories every day. Since early on, people have used selective breeding to manipulate the genetics of dogs and other animals to better suit our needs. From retrieving waterfowl to running down badgers and herding sheep, there are a number of domesticated working breeds. But there are also a number of exotic companion animals, including the pit bull husky cross, known as Pitsky, or the Cheagle, and an adorable mix of Chihuahua and Beagle. Yet, not all crossbreeding is as successful, and today we are going to have a look at what happens when crossbreeding doesn't produce the expected outcome. While wolves may look a great deal like their domesticated descendants, they are much different creatures when you have to share a home with one. And unfortunately, some well-mean canine enthusiasts are learning that the hard way. For thousands of years, wolves have been terrifying and bewildering to us throughout legends, bedtime stories, Hollywood movies, and music. We admire them for their loyalty, valor, and strength, but there is much more to the wolves' wild nature. In order to curb these wild tendencies, wolf enthusiasts have taken to crossbreeding wolves with domesticated breeds in the hopes of creating a more docile genetic blend. While it is quite simple to breed a dog that is part wolf and part domestic breed, it is dramatically more difficult to know how much of the resulting puppy will be wolf and how much will be domesticated. That means that the owner of this new breed is quickly discovering the unpredictable nature of the breed known as wolf dogs. The creation of this new breed has had some serious repercussions as the animals are much trickier to live with and disciplinary problems are compounded by the fact that many owners primarily purchase them for bragging rights without researching the genetic complications. The result is that wolf dogs are frequently abandoned in an assortment of ways from a release into the wild to being left at shelters. Unfortunately for wolf dogs released into the wild, the chances of survival are slim because while they are too wild for homes, they are also far too tame for the wild. The second outcome was what happened to a young wolf dog named Yuki when he was abandoned at a kill shelter at the age of just eight months. Yuki was what was known as a true wolf dog, or a purebred as he contained exactly 87.5% gray wolf, 8.6% Siberian husky, and 3.9% German shepherd. Despite this, when he was left at the shelter, there was very little chance that anyone would take on the risk and responsibility involved in adopting him. That's when rescue workers from Shy Wolf Sanctuary showed up to offer him a better future. The sanctuary in Naples, Florida, is committed to providing a safe home for many wild and not-so-wild animals, including bobcats, leopards, foxes, coyotes, turtles, cougars, raccoons, and even domestic pets. Their wide array of rescue experience made them uniquely equipped to deal with a pup like Yuki. In fact, for the past 20 years, Shy Wolf Sanctuaries have been rescuing between 20 and 100 wolf dogs a year, with over 30 active volunteers devoted to reconnecting people and animals through education. One of the volunteers that worked closely with Yuki described his disposition, saying, quote, Yuki loves women, showing off to visitors and being super goofy. You'll know if he accepts you. He has a very small group of women that he allows into his enclosure called his harem. Sadly though, not all wolf dogs have the opportunity that Yuki did and around 200,000 of the 250,000 born each year are surrendered or euthanized due to a lack of education about proper care for the breed. Luckily, there are several rescue organizations who work primarily with wolf dogs and Shy Wolf is just one of the thousands of groups across the United States and Canada who are working to raise awareness about the challenges involved in raising these exotic pets. Another such organization is the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center whose founder, Darlene Cobabel, says her organization can field as many as 15 calls per day from people needing to surrender wolf hybrids. Much like the staff at Shy Wolf, the goal of the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center is to educate people and discourage overbreeding. Darlene opened the park after she rescued a two-year-old wolf dog named Chinook who was facing euthanasia at a local animal shelter. As a more advanced species, we have a responsibility to protect those creatures that we share a planet with. And that means that we need to practice safer, more conscious breeding practices. By doing so, we'll foster a world where fewer animals like Yuki and Chinook wind up lost in rescues and shelters. 
Thank you for watching. Tap one of the two videos on the screen for another amazing story.